Let's analyze each option one by one and find the truth. First, option one, all of the below. If this statement's correct, it means options two, three, four, five, and six all must be correct. But option two says none of the below, and option three says all of the above. These two directly contradict each other. They can't both be true, which means all of the below cannot be correct. Option one is out. Next, option two, none of the below. If this is correct, then options three, four, five, and six must all be incorrect. Now, if option five, none of the above, is incorrect, that means at least one of the options above it must be correct, creating a contradiction. Option two must be also false. We can quickly see option three and four also fail. For option three to be true, options one and two would have to be true, but we've already proven them false. For option four to be true, at least one, two, or three must be true, which we just proved are false. So options three and four are also incorrect, which brings us to option five, none of the above. If option five is correct, one, two, three, and four all must be incorrect. So far, so good. Indeed, it looks like option five is the only consistent answer. What about option six? It also says none of the above, but if option six were correct, it means all of the above and five would be incorrect. However, we just found option five to be correct. So if option five is true, option six must be false. Therefore, option six cannot be the correct answer, and we're left with only one consistent winner, option five.